there are people that will go, will clench with the lower canine on the maxillary discluding element. I can't do it, but I've seen people do it. I had one gal, miserable migraine sufferer, made an NTI, I thought I was going to nail it. I asked her to move her jaw side to side and she went like this and her canine went right up to that DE and it was five o'clock and I had to go. The next day, she was a newlywed, her husband calls me and says, I've never seen her this bad before. I go, no way, I'm such a bad person. So I went back and met him at the office and I asked her to go this way. And not only did she, she went, her jaw jiggled, boom, and then the canine touched it. Her lateral pterygoid was exhausted from pulling it over that far, but she did it. And that's exactly what she did. So that, that was the last day I made an upper device as my routine, usual and customary device. I since then changed. Same job position on the lower, now you don't, you're avoiding that canine far more effectively. Any canine contact, upper or lower. So the lower device has become my default. There are situations where the lower device is kind of a drag, and I've even enhanced, I don't even make an individual lower anymore, and I'll show you that near the end here. <laughs> 